Hi guys and girls, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for joining me for this video. As you can see from today's title, we'll be doing an eBay finds, or UK eBay finds. I have been doing a lot of rummaging around on eBay lately. Like, obviously, of course, I still love my Amazon one. If you haven't seen my Amazon, like, finds and, like, haul, then please go check that out. But, um, today I did actually do quite a big little, like, eBay little bits and bobs. Just I thought I'd show you guys, because a lot of these, especially if you're, like, into beauty, into influencing, into just work... I think everyone is, then this is a great one for you. Um, for those that are probably wondering, I haven't got any makeup on right now. I'm just, I'm not feeling great. I'm currently recovering from a chest injury, so I just cannot be bothered to put makeup on today. I did obviously, like I said, go onto eBay and like, did a few little orders just because why not? Um, I'm going to start, I'm going to go downwards rather than going like random order. So the most recent order that I did, now I know a lot of you guys are going to say, but Han, didn't you buy this a few a while back? I did. However, knowing me and my clumsy self, as you will find throughout this video, I'm very clumsy. I broke them. They are the Blu-ray, Blu-ray? Blue light blocking glasses so if you don't know blue light is something that affects us all it comes from it's from our phones our laptops all of that stuff it can be it can cause and it can like blue light doesn't really help with migraines sleeping patterns mood things like that it does factor in with the premature aging side so yeah the best thing i have found to do was obviously get a pair of glasses now i'm going to be honest you're probably going to see um i haven't tested these personally so i don't know if they're like authentic authentic however um i think most of them are if they seem to be um i did previously get a pair but i sat on them so they broke previously had a pair that's the pair on for you now. These are what they look like for you. I don't really like too much of the shape of these, but they were only $4.99. I think the other ones might have been a little bit cheaper. These feel a tiny bit sturdier. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. You're probably going to see loads of, like, once you start... Because you know, like, how Google does... And Instagram does this weird thing where they, like... You search up one thing on your Google search engine. And then on your Instagram, there's, like, loads of ads for that particular... Like, the other day, I literally went on there. And I searched up a phone case on, Inst um, on Google. And then, like, for no re god reason, as soon as I went on Instagram... Phone case ads, phone case ads, I was like uh stalk much but um yeah you're probably gonna see if you're gonna search this up you're probably gonna see a ton of like influencers and whatnot promoting these like really super expensive um blue light glass blocking things i personally just say get them from ebay or amazon just because you pay for the frame rather than the lens that i'm aware of i don't wear glasses i don't really need them but the reason why i got these was for editing because or like when i'm watching streaming netflix because i am heavy heavy duty netflix like i can't my morning routine is literally i wake up and i have to watch minimum three netflix or amazon prime episodes or something i'm currently watching Grey's Anatomy. at me i don't know if i'm late on the bandwagon to that but um yeah i am watching that so i just take three episodes technically i lied i do it all day um i started like four days ago and i'm already on season four um so yeah uh, i like to watch that um where am i going with this the glasses so um yeah i when i'm editing especially because of my job my beauty whatnot um i have to edit with them on otherwise i tend to get migraines a lot i tend to get like really bad sleeping patterns like i'm i'm sure enough like obviously i'm not a specialist but i'm sure i can diagnose myself with insomnia because this is just no joke like i'm literally just not getting any sleep anymore obviously because i'm a warrior i'm a stressor like my mum and my granddad literally gave me the worst possible thing ever which is to worry and stress like i worry and stress about every single little thing anyway i'm going off tangent i always do this so yeah these are highly recommended they're only 4.99 i know you can get loads of different ones on oh my god Sorry, I'm just admiring the colour change. Anyway, yeah, 4 dollars they're great. Um, they, they fit really nice. They're not the type of glasses that slide down either, you know? You know when you get those little glasses that, like, slide down? Highly, highly... Highly, highly recommend them. All of these links are going to be in the description as well. They're going to be probably affiliated because it helps me out. It helps me buy more products to review for you guys. Anywho, next we have the chair. Now, I'm currently sitting on a chair that I used to have a really mangled up chair. Like, no, it wasn't mangled up. Like, it was great, but however, I built it with my hands. 
Right, it's going to sound so silly. I built it with my fingers rather than with a screwdriver. So you're probably going to tell how it actually came out, which was rotten. Now, I had this chair for years. I must have had this chair since it was like 2015. And it was great. Like, it held up. But I just, because I've got scoliosis, I've got back problems, I've got chest problems. I need something that's going to help my back. Especially because where I'm filming most of the days, I need something that's going to be great for me to sit and work. Yeah, when I edit, I just lay on my bed. Because um, I can't bother to do it on my table. I'm probably going to get like a Mac or like an iMac or something, I don't really need one, but maybe in the future I'll treat myself to one, but anyway, um, so yeah, this is a chair right here, I'll put up what it looks like, it was so easy to put together, I think it was £35, which was great, like I just do not spend money on a chair, it holds me up, but really, no, I'll stick with my mangled up one, like literally the screws used to come out all the time, I'd be midway through filming and I'd just fall off my chair and I'd be like, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised I haven't put it in like a video yet, but yeah, I don't know how I haven't, but yeah, it was £39. It's a mesh computer desk chair, office chair. What? You know when, like, eBay does all the weird names? Let's read it out. It is a mesh computer desk chairs, office chairs, game chairs, cushioned with lumbar support. Yeah, it's great. It's got um, high-density mesh, American... Uh, American-made, breathable, durable, not easy to deform. High-density, breathable... Yeah. This is so comfy, like it's so, so, so comfy. Um, it really does help with back support. It goes up and down, you can spin around. As you can see, it's, it's great, it's generally great. I can easily move around the room because sometimes getting up for me is actually a mission, not because I'm lazy, just because of the pain I'm in. So this really helps when I just want to move around throughout the day, so yeah. I highly recommend that one. That is a great one as well for £35 as well. I know office chairs can be super expensive. So I, to be honest, I wasn't expecting much because I thought £35 for a really good chair probably going to break on me in like day two but no it's actually been really nice really comfy yeah the only thing i would like about the chair is that i would like because it has wheels and you can move around i would have liked to stop her unless i am that unaware that it does have a stopper but you know like a where you're moving you just want to jump like on a yeah you know what i mean but yeah it doesn't really have one that i know of maybe it does and i've just been a bit oblivious to it but yeah highly recommend that chair i put like a nice little comfy cushion on it um but yeah i'll show you in a little clip if i can or a picture of what it looks like in my room if i don't i'm just going to show you the ebay picture but yeah highly recommend that one so next we have um a folding laptop bed table adjustable lap standing desk for bed and sofa that was an easy name. So I was on the lookout. I can't stand these little bits of the glasses. So I had seen from a friend of mine, I'm sure I'm correct, my friend Maznot on Instagram, she has one of these. Now when I saw it, I was completely inspired because I thought that is just what I need in my life. Now I've been using it every single day. It's probably the most handiest thing I've got in my room currently. It's quite big, so I'm going to show you from back here. So it's just this laptop table now on the back it sits on the bed it sort of reminds me of like when i'm in a hospital and it just sits up like that and you just put it on the the actual bed so it sits above you just basically like that and um you can put your oh if i put it back down so i can show you so here is where you can put your ipad i don't actually put it there just because mine's my laptop's broken because again i sat on it and it broke um, but it's still usable, like I still use it and edit it, but it's, it's screens completely. Um, so yeah, you put your laptop or iPad here and then obviously a cup goes here, but you have to fit the smallest cups into there. Like I would have liked a bigger one for a mug or something. And then obviously it's got a handle, which is really, really useful. But yeah, they do it in different colors. I just thought I'd get the pink. They do it in a black, a blue. I know they do it in multiple colours anyway, I'll link it. It was £13.99, so it was super affordable. It came already built, you don't have to build it yourself. I highly recommend, especially for someone like me who works from home, and I cannot be bothered to sit at my table, I'd rather just do everything in bed, and that is literally what I do. So um, yeah, I just have my bed, which is right behind the camera currently, and um, I just have this, I watch my little Netflix, even just to chill or whatnot, it's great, it's a great little thing, highly recommend it, um, thank you to Mazna for putting it on a story, I think she put it on a story a few weeks back, I literally the next day I was like okay I need one of those, so I bought it and yeah, highly highly recommend it, it's great, it really is, oh, it really is definitely what I needed um, for my little room, lovely bit of investment, so yeah, 
great little purchase. On to now the beauty bits before, yeah, maybe one non-beauty bit, but the rest of them are all beauty focused. So I've had a ton of questions asking me what this little guy is right here. Now I did see a person on TikTok who is a skincare guy, I can't remember his name. Um, he was using this and I was fascinated with it because I do love silicone brushes. I had used to be using the Foreo, but I just thought to myself like, I love the Foreo, do not get me wrong. But my hands do just enough, like a good job. I do like the whole vibration and the massage feel, but I just thought to myself, I don't just want to be promoting constant brushes when, of course, for those that cannot afford it, um, can use their hands. The hands are probably the, the, the most useful thing you have on your body. Um, so yeah, but I did want to purchase something just really, really cheap. Now, this was £2.39. Now, this is described as a silicone soft face brush for, I don't know what. But yes, yeah, so I don't know if you guys can see if I bring it up close. It just has these silicone bristles right here, and then it has more of a don't know what this one's for, but yeah. This is super, super gentle. Now, I know with a lot of face brushes, especially like brush bristles, I tell you to stay away from them. I learned the hard way. They're so abrasive on the skin. They're super harsh. And also, they're very hard to clean because obviously you have to clean your face brushes, um, your makeup brushes, whatnot, because it carries bacteria. Now, bacteria is a huge thing for breaking out, acne. You don't want to be reapplying something thinking you put in clean skin, dirty skin products upon clean skin it's just not it but luckily with silicone the bacteria just washes away when you wash it so it doesn't it doesn't have anything to stick to which is great so yeah this one was currently £2.39 it doesn't in different uh, it comes in different colours it has like a little suction thing here so you can like pop it on your don't know if it, pop it on your wall um or like in your shower or whatnot, but I don't tend to, and I just like how you can just grip it between the fingers and you just massage it. I, as you guys can, have been seeing on my skincare videos, I have been using this. I use this daily. Sometimes, like for the past few days, I haven't. I've been giving my skin a break because what this actually does is, what this actually does as well is adds a little bit more extra tiny bit of exfoliation. So for those that are, I wouldn't suggest using this with a scrub. I don't like using scrubs, but yeah, if you're cleanser in the morning, you just want to massage it. And also, like when you're rubbing off your mask, like if you've got a clay mask or a mud mask or something like that on, I would not suggest just going in with a flannel on dry mask. What you have to do is you have to wet the mask first, rub it into the skin. Of course, you can just do this for added exfoliation and then wash away with flannel or just warm water. Um, but yeah, highly recommend this. This is great for those that don't really want to be using their hands and want to just have that little extra like Instagram vibe whatnot but yeah this is great um i haven't found anything magical with it personal opinion look at my bags um i haven't found anything magical with it but again it's two pound it's a great just a great little thing really we have here now i know this is the famous detangle hairbrush comb something this was £4.49. Again, you can tell with all the prices on here, especially I know eBay is really cheap, but you know I'm a cheapskate. Now, for me, I have curly hair. Currently, it's straightened just because it's easy to deal with when it's straightened. Now, this here, this is such... I generally think this was going to come falling apart and it wasn't going to be great quality. This is such good quality. Um, the, the plastic is very, very sturdy. It has a little clip thing somewhere where like it just stays a particular brush. Now, I've been seeing loads of girls and women and men men using this product however for me it's just not for me and um, for some reason I don't know how to use this like am I silly or am I just not grown up yet to use this but for some reason when I am using this on my curls I don't use brushes on dry curls I use it on wet curls when I'm washing my hair even when my hair is detangled this just doesn't go through my hair for some reason it pulls and I can hear the strands just breaking and they're crying for dear help but yeah I don't know what it is can anyone give me some tips on how to use this I generally do not know I, it was supposed to be a detangler but honestly I'm happy with my eco detangle brush and also my the wet brush it's they're amazing i've still got them till now i just wash them with shampoo i just wash my hair brushes i know i need to get new ones but currently i'm just washing them um but yeah like this doesn't work for me for some reason maybe what well, I'm, I'm open to knowing how to make it work but for right now it's just not really working for me i don't know why but four pound not really doing anything wrong really but yeah i just i think i need a little bit more i need to watch a few more instagram videos or youtube videos on how to use this but yeah might work for you it's great for detangling as you can see it just as it goes through the hair it combs through i don't really know but yeah i saw this got it it was a little bit not for me but obviously of course i'm going to educate myself a bit more that i have been putting off for the longest time um just because 
I don't know. Like, I think it was to do with the fact that I have my own facialist, but of course of COVID right now, well, before, still now, um, I just had no, no one to do my skincare stuff for me, like my deep facials, because I love to get a facial every like six weeks or every four weeks. So I thought to myself, one thing that I was finding, especially with like mask me and that, I didn't suffer with it bad until I went for the first time out in makeup with a mask. And then two days later, all of my chin line had broken out, which I was absurd. But um, it happened. It's nearly gone. I've still got a few little whatnot but yeah it's completely normal my skin is not perfect as you guys can see i'm working on it still i'm still at i'm only 20 so i'm still just past my hormonal bit so i'm still like a young woman breaking out like mad even at like middle-aged or elderly whatnot everyone has their little chaotic sessions but i needed a steamer like i really need a steamer but for god's sake they're expensive aren't they um i I was before literally just boiling water in a kettle, putting it in a bowl, slamming a towel over my head and just letting it all decongest. And I know people put essential oils in there and whatnot, but I just can't be bothered to smell all that. Like, But I needed my own steam and I thought I cannot be doing skincare videos with a, 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 a cereal bowl and water. I just can't be doing it anymore. So I bought myself a steamer. This was... £14.94. It was the cheapest I was going to get it. There was no way I was going to be tempted. I know they do those steam holder thing, pen things, but then I realised they were literally just cold vapour, so I was like, what is the point in that? I did just buy this. Now it comes with two settings. It comes with a low and a high. Um, it also comes with something you can put your essential oils in. Doesn't really look whatnot. And it also comes with a little bowl, like a little cup to fill the water in. Would I recommend this? Highly. It's such a great steam. It's not too overpowering. I generally enjoy it. I think obviously, of course, there can be better ones out there. But for £14.94, so basically 15 quid, you are getting an absolute bargain. Um, I really enjoy it. Plus it's purple. It just sits on my table up here next to my little flower. Flower? Plant? Fake? Yeah. Um, so yeah, highly recommend. Great little buy in my personal opinion. It's great quality. I know they're like certified brand. I've seen them on Instagram and whatnot. So yeah, obviously, like I said, all of these links will be linked. All of these products will be linked in the description. So yeah, I'm really glad I got this. I wasn't going to spend any more than £20 because I thought £20 for a little bit of hot water. No. Next we have this guy. Now I have been using my one. I had a red one that came with a, ca uh, a ring light that was gifted to me by OPV Beauty. Um... I had a red one of these. Now, these are the Bluetooth remote control camera selfie things remotes. Now, I use this just for my phone. I don't like to connect this to my camera just because I am... I just... I don't have the intelligence when it comes to working with cameras. Like, I literally just press play. It could be even be on a photo. And the photo could have just been taken. And I haven't even pressed record yet. And I'm talking. That's just how it works. Like, I am ancient when it comes to technology, honestly. Phones, laptops, whatnot, TVs, building stuff, I am all for. But anything to do with a camera, you've lost me. This was at £2.49. Um, great little thing. I think, especially if you're like me, who takes, or starting to take Instagram photos, or if you're a fashion person, or if you take long distance shots where you can't physically click the camera button thing, then this is great because obviously it just connects and then you either press um either one of them really like for me it just click it and it pew, takes a photo so yeah highly recommend this great i know a lot of people don't have these things for, for two pound and it came all of these products came relatively quick other than the brush because obviously it had a later date for it to come but yeah all of these products came really quick you all know we have just currently passed the hottest part of the year now i was a little bit annoyed because i ordered this too late and it was lich. i know you probably know you can see it already i ordered this too late and i was i was over it i was just so upset with it because i did have another fan that i purchased from primark it was a tiny little thing it was the cutest little fan ever but you know when it was hot and everyone, including myself, was just dying. Like, the UK heat. I know people are like, oh, but if you go to Spain or we live in a different country and it's so hot. Yeah, your country's built around your weather. Like, our weather here is not built around to be hot. Like, our houses are meant to keep heat in. We're not meant to let heat escape because we don't get any heat. But when we do get heat, it doesn't want to leave. So what did I have to get late into the heat game? A fan. 
Now this was £14.49. Again, I wasn't spending anything more than £15 to £20. This was a great one. This one sits on the table. I know they do ones where it's, oh, ow, a stand and whatnot. But this is a 12-inch desk fan oscillating. So it comes in three speeds. It moves. But yeah, this is a great little one. Definitely, I generally thought it was going to fall apart. It was going to be like really gimmicky. But this is such a great, it's heavy. It's a, it's heavy. It's a great quality fan. Yeah, yeah like it's a fan. It gives me cold air that's all i can say but yeah highly recommend it i know now obviously because i have a dog he overheats like mad and he then ends up fitting because of it because he's like he's overheated he's had like heat strokes and my dog fits because of it which is the scariest thing in the world in my personal opinion anyway um so yeah this is great for him at night time i know these burn from electric so i'm scared about my electric bill but you know um, when I used to get my dermaplaning done, she used to use an actual surgical butter blade. That's what it says on the thing. Um, so, um, yeah, so this is the number 14 surgical blade. Now, I don't know why eBay sells these, but I know these are for dermaplaning. Which, I used to use like the dermaplaning, like the peach fuzz ones, but I realised they weren't deep enough taking off the dead skin cells on my face i found that it, it the ones i was using before i had like two that were like perfect but obviously the blades run out and you can't reuse them for bacterial reasons and they need to be sterile because your face skin bacteria is all very very serious stuff like it's not like you can just use the same one over and over again the 10r blade and um, at the top they come with 10 of them and obviously you get the little handle but this is what the blade looks like what the blade looks like be very very careful with them i always they're great they they are very very sharp i think this is similar to the one that my esthetician actually uses so yeah these are the real deal they are sharp but yeah these are the real deal and i highly recommend them um they're great they take off absolutely everything um so yeah but i have to be careful because i don't know if you guys can see up here i did cut myself so yeah just be careful on to the last product which i'm actually gutted about because i can't seem to find the power supply cable thing now for those that don't know obviously in covid right now everyone and their mama has been trying to do their at home nails i've seen it on tiktok everywhere and whatnot i of course late to the bandwagon because i didn't really care i was just using the gels on my normal nails i wanted my acrylics back like i generally wanted my acrylics back but i wanted them like short ish so i put it off for a long time because i just thought why can't i just grow my nails out but yeah it wasn't really working so i wanted i did buy like a whole nail kit and stuff off of amazon and um, which was great and it came with like a load of paint and things like that and then i've been working with a few nail brands as well but i needed a filer especially if you're using acrylic powders and things like that i was using a normal nail file like a normal card thingy normal nail file and i just found that it, when it would when it was filed it looked like looked smooth and whatnot and then i applied paint and it was then i applied the gel polish and it was the most bumpiest surface ever yeah i said to myself this is why people use an electric file not just because it's easier just because it does the job so i picked up an electric file now this was 10 pounds 59 this is great it comes with all the interchangeable heads i think they're called please educate me but yeah i just bought this file right here it came in a box like this so it has um variable speeds so it's got like a little thing that you go up and down depending on the speed it's multi-use it's carving engraving rooting ro rooting grinding sharpening sanding polishing drilling and more it comes with all of these different little head things right here if you it's got all of these different heads right here and then obviously the actual thing yeah but i've lost the charger to it it comes with a battery pack not a battery pack you know like one you insert and then you plug in can't find it i can't find anything my life's a mess i'll find it anyway but yeah this was 10 pounds i've tried it already it's great i tried i even used this to just take off my nail polish because i could not bother to soak it in acetone i know it's not great for the nails because the nails become really really thin but yeah this is probably be really great for acrylics but be careful though because obviously you have to learn how to use these because once i started using them for the first time i did literally cut all of my cuticles which killed because they just would not stop bleeding but yeah um, great little product right here especially for £10.59 so yeah overall I didn't actually spend that much money this was over like three or four orders I think obviously I, I ordered things individually but yeah over a period of like a week they like in a f within a few days these all came um, I tend to only go for products on eBay that have like fast free delivery or like 
fast and quick because it's like two days or something like that but yeah I really really hope you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts let me know if you want to see another one because I love ordering from eBay and Amazon let me know if there's anywhere else you want me to do hauls from I have a boohoo one coming up because I wanted some new sweaters because I'm growing out of all of mine and you know when they shrink in the washing machine but yeah I've talked I've spoken way too much in this video I really really hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and a subscribe and share with your friends if they're interested in these type of stuff and yeah I'll see you in my next one bye